Hi, my name is Thijs Versveld and I'm the author of the Aperiodic Tiling Unity plugin. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new custom tile set from a single source image. So there are two ways of creating tile sets. The first one is by creating a tile set manually, which can be a tedious process, but definitely possible using image editing software like Adobe Photoshop. The second one is the one that I'm going to show you now. So we will start out by downloading Rob Burke's Wang Tiling application. This is the program that we will use to create our tile set. So just unzip it. And then we go into our folder. Then to bin, release, and open a Wang Tiler. All right. So I've downloaded this rocks texture and this is the one that we're going to use to create our tile set from but first we need to edit a couple of settings i like my wang tiles to be 128 by 128 pixels um, wang tiles by the way is the technique that is used it doesn't probably ring a bell but it's not important for you to understand this all right so we copy and paste these coded descriptions of what our tile set looks like and we paste it in this application again not necessary for you to understand this i will post these these coded uh, tile set forms in the description of the video so we load our rocks texture and then we generate the wang tiles then we save them i'm going to save them in here as you can see i've already done this so you would press save, but I'm going to press cancel. All right, and that's it. We now have our tile set. Let's go into Unity. And then we're going to open an empty scene. I'm going to create a plane and I'm going to scale it to about, let's say 25 by 20, 25. Gonna put it nicely in the center of the scene. And then we're going to add our aperiodic tiling script. And we're going to create a material and let's call it rocks. And set the shader to the standard aperiodic tiling shader. Drag it onto our plane to apply the material. As you can see, it's applied to our plane. Now we're going to open the folder containing all our tile textures. And we're going to drag them all into Unity. Then select them all and enable reading and writing. This is very important. Good. So now all we have to do is drag the corresponding tiles into the script. All right. So now we're going to generate the tile set. There you go. Looks a bit weird now, but now we're going to generate a pattern. And that's it. We have now generated an aperiodic tiling of the rocks texture that we used in the beginning. All right, thank you for watching and I hope that you found this tutorial very helpful.